so why should why should an MP block, right? I mean, I I, I think the, the by far the most important reason why they should block is that they are connecting with ordinary people. Now the problem is that you know you, you're working in Westminster and you're sort of in that Westminster bubble and. You, you get involved in that world and you don't really know what ordinary people are saying and what are the issues. And also having a very down-to-earth conversation rather than just what is filtered through the media. Uh, and that's a problem that they all read just, you know, what's going on in the media and then they have to respond to that rather than saying, okay, well, how can we be honest to people and talk to them in the way that they want to? Because right now I just feel like the politicians are interested in what the mainstream media has to say. So their conversation is not necessarily with the general electorate, their conversation is actually with the media. And the media's job is to have a conversation with them, with the MPs, because they want to influence the national agenda. So they're just having a conversation amongst themselves, whereas the people on the ground are almost like seeing this bizarre play, you know, taking place. And that's why they feel, you know, cut off from that. I think by far the most important uh, advantage of blogging uh, or reading blogs is that you connect with what ordinary people are saying. I think it's good to be exposed to a whole lot of opinion, otherwise, you know, you know how do you engage with other people unless you can uh, understand what they're trying to say and sort of engage on that basis, you know. It is, I, I just think it just exposes to you a lot more and, and you need that in this sort of environment that you're in where people are constantly talking about, I mean, in politics, people are constantly talking about uh, terrorism and all these kind of issues. Sometimes people are afraid to say what they really want to say. So it just exposes you to a whole lot of different opinion. It's not bound by news, you know, the news formula. It's actually commentary, and this is what I want to say. And so there's so much comment out there, you see, you get exposed to such a, a wide variety of uh, opinion. And, and you're sort of shaped by that because I think, you know, it's easy to just read the news and think, well, that's what people are thinking. Well, actually, I think that people read that and then they think a lot more, but no one really expresses that, and blogging allows them to express it. Sometimes you can say, okay, we feel that no one is really doing anything about this issue or we want to raise awareness of this issue, make some noise. So what you can do is you can link up with another bunch of bloggers or interested parties, use Facebook, use blogging, whatever you can to get people together and say, look, what you need to do is write to your MP or come to this protest or do this, right? And so you get yourself organized online. And I think that's where the beauty of blogging lies and that's where this where I think political campaigning is going to move towards where you're actually you're using online networks to um, get people together, feed them information and say this is what you can do and then hopefully lobby MPs on that basis. It's actually really bizarre how many of them just don't know what the hell all this is about and it's frightening that the UK is moving on so quickly on technology and all these kind of things, are, and our leaders have no idea what the hell is going on. So it's actually really frustrating in that sense. And I think what the, what the, what the government really needs to do is say, okay, it's about time where we educated our own people, you know, tell them what's going on. And you should say, okay, we need to educate our MPs on technology because right now a lot of them are really clueless. So, and I've been to events, you know, organized by the Fabian Society or New Statesmen and, and uh, MPs fully admit they, they really don't, don't have much clue about what's going on, you know, so that's the main problem, I guess, which stops them from blogging.